Okay, guess this will do. I don't have any makeup on and whatever, but I want to make this video because if I don't do it now, I know myself and I won't do it. I will put it on my to-do list and it will never get done. So, um, I have a checklist. I have a checklist to get started on OnlyFans. All right, if you're thinking about getting started on OnlyFans and you're not sure what to do, where to start, how to start, this is for you. So, this is my checklist, 10 things. Number one, come up with your name. I recommend not using your real name. Um, if there's one thing that I could do different, getting started, it is that. I would come up with a stage name, so to speak. And after you do that, set up an email with that. Set up an email with that name and also start an Instagram account with the same username. And a Twitter. I forget to tell people this, but and a Twitter. Um, where it all co coincides with your OnlyFans name. And that way you have, you know, ways to promote and so on. Second or third thing, go to OnlyFans and create an account. <laughs> it does take about 48 hours to get approval um, for them to verify your identity and so on. So go to the website and create an account. Put your name, all the information that it asks for, it will prompt you step by step, basically. So when you go to set up your account, have your ID ready because you will have to send in a picture of your ID front and back and holding your ID. And when you're holding it, you need to make sure all four corners are exposed. And so you're basically just holding it like this. Uh, they will reject it if the corners are covered. Um, so yeah. Also for during the verification, it will ask you for one of your social medias, either Instagram or Twitter or whatever. I think maybe Facebook, I'm not sure. At the time I set mine up, I didn't have Facebook. So I recommend you use your current social media, whichever one is like most active um, for the verification process. And then once you're approved and they verified you are who you say you are, then you can go in and link the Instagram that goes along with your name to your account. So number four, while you're waiting on approval, go in and get familiar with the settings and the different um, features that OnlyFans offers. Like from the, let's see where to go to your edit, at the bottom, at the, when you're on your phone and I'm on an iPhone. So like in the bottom right hand corner, you're gonna have a little circle, which is your profile. When you click on that, profile it'll open a um a tab and it'll have a list of things like settings um statistics what else is on there bank all, all of the different things so get familiar with with the website you know once you get approved you're going to need to link your bank account or a form of payment payout i Mine goes into my bank account. Okay, so number five. You can set up your safety privacy settings. You click on the bottom right-hand corner, your little profile circle, and when the, the tab opens up, you're going to want to scroll all the way down. I think it's at the very bottom to privacy and safety. <coughs> Excuse me. I recommend setting your page to fully private. That is what I do, but obviously you don't have to. And then, then some things um, can be seen. without subscribing, um, 
I've always had mine fully private, so you have to subscribe to see anything at all on on my profile. Um, I'm gonna see safety. And when you click on safety, you can block by country. Pick the country, United States, if that's where you're at, that's where I'm at. So when you pick the country, United States, there's another tab and it opens up and it says by state. And you can select states to block. And when you do that, and you let's say post your link on Instagram, if someone that lives in the same state as you clicks on your link, it's going to say that it doesn't work. All right, so number six, when you are, I think we're at number six, I don't even know, I've lost count. <laughs> All right, once you're approved, you go to the tab, everything is gonna be in that, click on your little profile thing and pretty much everything's gonna be there in that little list that'll come out from the right. So go scroll down to bank and that is where you need to add your bank account, link your bank account and that's how you get paid. After you do that, you can set up your subscription price and you may be able to set it before, but I think you have to link your bank or a payout in order to set up a subscription price. So do that. And then number seven, go to settings and sub select subscription price and set up. And you just, I think it, there's a minimum of four or five dollars that it requires you to have or unless it's free. Um, mine is at $9.99. Now then you can go, number eight, you can go back to settings and go to chats. There you can set up a welcome message and I highly, highly recommend you set up a welcome message and attach at least one photo, if not many. Um, I only have, I think I just upgraded it and put three images on my welcome message. And I mean, that is just a really great way to introduce yourself, welcome them to your page. And if you have a menu or if you offer certain things, you could put it in that, in that spot. And that way they know when they subscribe, they're going to get this welcome message and you know they can they can see what what you got going on right off the bat and you don't have to worry about if someone subscribed and you missed it and you didn't you didn't catch it or um whatever because they get it just automatically when they subscribe they get that message so number nine go back to settings and then click on fans and following I turn on my auto follow back and I also turn on my top fan notify. So the, my fans that are in the top 5% and top 1% get notified and I also get notified and I always send them out a little something extra privately. And that's it. Um, no, number 10, we forgot number 10, number 10 post five to 10 pictures. I mean, you can post more than that, but basically spam post your page and then go share your link. <laughs> um, so that's it. Yeah. 10, there's my checklist, 10 things to get started on OnlyFans. If you have any questions, please leave comment and I will try to respond. So I just want to say thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and hope to see you again.